Hi, and welcome to this FL Studio tutorial. In this tutorial I'm gonna talk about automation. First of all, what is automation? Well, automation is simply a way to um, make a parameter or many parameters move uh, by themselves so you don't need uh, to touch them. Uh, in FL Studio, automation can be done in two different ways, automation clips and events. And there's quite a lot to talk about here, so I decided to uh, split this uh, tutorial into two separate videos. In this one I'm gonna talk about events, and in the second one I'm gonna talk about automation clips. And I highly recommend that you watch both tutorials. Uh, and I'll put up a link in the doobly-doo so we can go watch the other one. So, uh, here I've uh, loaded up a simple drum loop. Uh, let's have a listen. So, what if you wanted the volume of this beat to start uh, kind of quiet and then fade in, which is maximum volume here, and slowly fade out until the end? Well, uh, for this we'll need uh, automation. So, in this case, the parameter that we want to automate is the channel volume, this knob. So, you right click on it and choose Edit Events. That will bring up this window. In this window, you can draw uh, a line or a curve or anything. <laughs> uh, just use your left mouse button to draw, and you can also hold your right mouse button to draw a straight line. So if we play this, you will see that this knob will follow this curve. Uh, when the curve is high up here, uh, the parameter will. Uh, increase and when it's low down here uh, yeah then this knob will also be low yeah so we're on pattern 1 as you can see and if we scroll up to pattern 2 you will see that this disappears since we've um, made this in pattern 1 therefore we need to go back into the playlist and paste pattern 1 in here and then we can see the automation curve in here as well Let's go back into the uh, event editor uh, and choose to delete all this. Uh, we wanted it to start kind of quiet and then, then it should fade in kind of quickly, be kind of loud up here, and then slowly fade down until the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, let's play this in song mode and see what it sounds like. Well, yeah, that was good. Uh, it did fade in and it did fade out. So, now you know the basics of events. There's one more thing I could uh, show you in the event editor. Uh, and that is if you want to make an oscillating uh, automation curve. And by oscillating I mean a curve that goes up and down like this frequently. Um, you need to use an LFO. So click on the tools and choose LFO. Uh, LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator, and there's really a lot uh, to talk about when it comes to LFOs. You can find LFOs in many, many different places in FL Studio, and um, I feel like I could make a whole video just explaining about LFOs, but I'm not going to do that now. Uh, as you see, when I clicked LFO, uh, it created this um, oscillating pattern. You can choose between sine wave, uh, triangle wave, or square wave. The face obviously controls the face. Uh, the range controls um, the size of, let's call them hills and valleys. The range controls uh, the center of the hills, or oh, <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. And the speed obviously controls the length. You can click end if you want it to fade in or fade out in any way, like this. 
Uh, but yeah, that's the basics of the LFO. You can click accept and go back into the playlist and um, paste the pattern here. Yeah, well, uh, that's basically all I got for you on events. Uh, please watch my other tutorial on uh, automation clips. And uh, if there was anything you did not understand, if there was um, something that you think I explained in a bad way or anything, please leave a comment and uh, I'll try to answer all your comments as good as I can. <laughs> and even if you don't have any questions, uh, please leave a comment anyways, because I like comments. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and thumbs up. And uh, yeah, bye.